Hello and welcome to a very, very wet Shamrock Valley. It is the second day of spring and well we've nearly actually completed the first part of the arable work which is to get the fields ready to be seeded. I've just got to go and do a bit more work in field 25 and then we should be done with that. Oh that's pretty cool still. But we've still got quite a lot to do. Uh, we still we're going to start the seeding today. I'm just going to go through and check the animals' water, and I'm going to also check on their food very quickly. So, limbs to car. And the cows are here. Uh, if you didn't notice, I actually bought 40 cows, and I believe 17 have died already. So we need to sort out their straw as well, and uh, silage as well. But it is 7.40 a.m. in the morning, so we're still quite up early, so it's just need water. I doesn't really need too much. Uh, I'm going to just sit around here. They've got so much water already. Right, let's actually head over down to field 25, where I will board the Ford. Alright, so as you can see, we've still got a few random patches. Um, I'm just going to go and put the thingy down. Not all wait. Well, that's the third time I've done that now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go along here and then across the top. And then, well, I think that will be the flowering done. So I'll also quickly do the lining of this field. And then we'll go put this track, the other track on follow me probably. And we'll go to the follow me course all the way back up to the farm and then we'll go and get the cedar ready on this tractor. But first I'm actually also going to give this tractor a wash. Because it needs a clean. Now. And I'm going to keep the dirt on fast. Because, well, yeah. I might actually not clean it, you know see how long it takes to, well, get it completely dirty, because the dirt started to go on the roof now. So, there we go, we've done our bit of plowing. Hooray, that's all done now. I'm going to fast forward it so it doesn't rain as much, so hopefully the weather moves out a little bit. Wow, the white lighthouse is doing something weird over there. Alright, it doesn't look like it's going to clear up anytime soon. Yeah. Right, let's start this thing. And... Spread line. Line footing is engaged. So today's video probably won't be as long because, well, on this map because, well, the last two videos I've been quite long. They've been about 30 minutes long, which, you know, people might get bored in them. The first video hasn't even gone up yet. It's I'm recording this on the day where the first video is going up. So <clears throat> yeah, but this shouldn't take too long because we've got a 24 meter spreading width and. I'd literally just go round up and down a few times. It'll be done. Because this is just making my life easier and quicker. So then we can get on the seeding, which is probably the most important aspect of this whole operation. Now I might be going for two years on this map. Depends if another big map comes out during that time. But we will be going through winter at least. Because I would quite quite like to go through a bit of winter in a let's play. So you can do maybe do a bit of snow clearing. But hey ho, we're still here. And, well we're sort of making it wintry, but it's lightning. So we've got the other tracks of there. Um, well the AI tracks I meant there. 
Hopefully you are enjoying this Let's Play so far when you're watching this video. Um, if you do have any suggestions of what things we can do, tell me in the comments. Just go for it. That is done. We have completed the line spreading. And this field is ready to be seeded. So, we're going to put this on follow me. 25 meters should be alright in between. I don't know why I teleported to all the machines. I'm actually going to go um, left out of here. So, come on, an idiot. Go on. So, we're going to go left out of here. Ooh, there's a traffic jam here. So. What the hell is going on here? Oh my... Crikey! There's been an accident! Jeez! Wow! Crikey Moses! Uh... <coughs> yes! That's quite a weird thing that's happened. I believe there's been an update since, so I haven't updated it yet. So... Hmm. And I can't get past them, so I'm going to have to go the other way now. Now then, you're probably wondering why it's, uh, well, nearly 7pm. And the reason for this is it was raining flat out all day. So, and it's only just stopping to rain. So, yeah, that's the problem with the weather. So that means we've only got one more in-game day to actually seed. So that's quite annoying. But I'm going to go for oats in that top field. Actually, I'm going to go, yeah. Uh, now, I'm going to go with... Wheat in the top field, and then the next field along, oats, and then the bottom two, actually. No, 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 no. Scrap that. Canola. In field one. So we need to get in here. Don't open that door. That can't fit you there. Right, open. Right, you will open. Oh, you're opening now. Right. Let's get in there. Right. Let's go. Let's around. Refill. That's some. Well, somewhere. Somehow refill. Refilling is underway. Over it. So I'm actually taking stuff from the bottom pallet. Yeah. And then we start on the top one. Okay, so we've got a fill drill. So we're gonna head up to the top field. I'm gonna try and get at least the top field done in this in-game day. So we've only got three fields in the next in-game day. But we can do mowing as well now. So hopefully in the next episode we will be doing a bit of mowing if the weather's dry enough. But the ground's wet. Well, this field might take a while, and the seeding, and the other two fields as well. But I'm going to do two head... I'm actually going to go three headlands, because I remember the seeder does take all the way, all the way around when you um, seed. So I'm going to do three headlands on each field. Smaller fields I might just do the whole thing myself. But we're seeding, 
some canola in this field. So, yeah, we should get quite a nice produce if we keep up with the fertilising. So, hopefully, the whole thing will be a complete success. So, I'll come back and get them probably, those little bits there, right at the end. But I'm going to try and get this field done in this in game day. And this tractor's already going white. If you didn't notice, the rain did wash off quite a lot of the um, mud. Well, most, pretty much all of it. But, yeah, now we're covered in lime. So, that's nice. But we are going to be putting the mowers on this tractor properly because I'm probably going to be using some class mowers. Depends. I've got some mod ones and I've got the ones from the class DLC. I don't know which one I should use. I might actually put it down as a vote if you'd like me to. So, if there, if there is a vote, it will probably appear about now. But they are quite similar, I believe. Well, I would like to use the class DLC one. I haven't used either, actually. In fact, um, I only got the DLC one. The, uh, not the DLC one. The modded one. Is, uh, I had to have them to join the FSM server so they put them in because the owner doesn't have the class to see. But this is quite a good amount of seeding done. Well, quite a good track for the seeding in fact. So it's been completely fine so far. No hitch ups. Um, well, they might have taken a while over there because. I kept flipping the John Deere earlier, but I'll try and get every little bit so there's no bits of white left. But we're going to get on with this. It shouldn't take too long, and I'll see you in a second. Alright, so I ended up only doing two headlands because I just thought that would be enough. Hopefully he does notice that he can turn around in that sort of space. But yeah, we'll come back to those these little patchy bits. But hopefully we'll get a nice crop of colonia in here. Yeah, he should be alright. Even though he goes through the hedge, but hey ho, we're fine. Yeah! There's a scanner in here. Not my scanner. Well it looks like the scanner from ECS2. Oh, what the heck? Ooh. Not for an alien spaceship. <laughs> but anyway, that's seeding away. That's literally most of the jobs done. I'm actually going to buy all the equipment for the summertime. So, actually, there won't be a vote, in fact. Well, I'll leave the mowers, in fact, and I'll do a vote on the mowers. I'll quickly show you them in the store, but let's go into the store and I'll show you the mowers. Alright, so you got these two, which are the class TLC mowers, and got these two, which are the uh, mod mowers. So that needs about 280 horsepower and these two need mm, they need less so those might be the best ones but that's as a working things. actually that would be better mm, how expensive 2246 1348 yeah they're about the same value they're pretty much the same in everything anyway so it's going to be between them. Uh, tethers, we're going to go for. I quite like the look of this thing. I kind of want to use this, but it's only 2.2 meters. So I'll probably just go for something. I'll have my own choose for the tethers. Windrows. Will be. Hmm. What the heck? Cro oh, that looks interesting. I don't want to use that. We'll find something. We'll probably just go for something about this size anyway. If that's 
close to this cool one. And Baylor's. No, not Forest Drift, but Baylor's. <coughs> now, we can. We're, we're probably going to get one of these. We'll probably get one of these, or buy one of these, and then towards the end, we lease one of these and do some silage spells to sell. So hopefully we'll do it on the BGA. If there is a BGA. Is there a BGA? Uh, BGA, BGA. There's a BGA down here. We do own BGA. That's nice. So we can do some silage spells. But let's pick our equipment first. So we're going to go for... I think I'm going to go with this one, the Caverna one. Hang on, that's 7 meters. That's 8.2. That's 6. I'm going to go with the Caverna one anyway, because I haven't used it yet. Um, green colour. Go white with that, and main colour will go New Holland blue. Actually, I wanted to match it to the John Deere, in fact. John Deere. John Deere. Yes. There we go. 15 grand for that. Uh, tedders. I think we're going to go with this thing. Cool. It's just the best size for this farm. And we can also stick it on the fear as well. So we can do some fear work with that. And I'll quickly pick the baler. Alright, so the equipment's over here. We've got the windrow there, the tedder there, and the reason why I picked this baler is because I wanted a quadrant baler and uh, well I wanted to use this one as well but the class one needed I think about 250 horsepower and that thing might struggle with it still because that's our most powerful tractor and I think it's only got 225 horsepower yeah I need to update this map because this is glitching we've got a glitch with that, we've got a glitch with the lighthouse and is there another glitch I spotted? But he's getting on fine. Yeah. But we've got our equipment, our bailing equipment. All he needs is a mower. I will put a vote in and we'll see which class mowers we get to use. Will we be using the modded ones or the class DLC ones? Do I close this gate? I think this sheep might need food again at some point. I will take a look at the animal menu. What? How the hell is their health so low? They're fine for water and grass. Cleansiness. Now they're not happy. Depressed. Hmm. There's nothing here. Right, I'm gonna check on the cows anyway. Cows are even worse. I need to get some straw in. Yeah, let's get some straw in. Alright, so I've got some... Well, a straw, a straw bale. And I can put it in the choppy thing. Let's see if that goes in. And then, if I throw that in, I will go up to the cows, and hopefully they do accept it. So, let's go up there. And I'll see you in a second. Alright, so I'm loading now. Got the straw going in. See how much that does. Um, oh yeah. Let's see what happens. We'll go down. Okay. Get an even coverage. But hopefully that does sedate. Well, not sedate, that's putting it. <laughs> Tranquilizing them. That so sort of satisfy them. Oh. Oh, apparently the, oh yeah, I went out the area. Right. Did that satisfy them? Mostly. So I'll leave it for now and we can always get some more in the morning. But I think we have... Don't open on me, you stupid gate. 
But hopefully that does boost their health. Because they are quite low health as well. And they do need some um, grass as well. So hopefully we'll be able to get some of that in the next video. So I'm just going to check up on the Ford. Hopefully he's alright. Oh, come on, let me in. Oh, you're actually nearly done. Good Ford. So I'm just going to lower that down. And there we go. So just going to go around the edge. And hopefully it won't take too long to do the other fields because I really want to get on with the uh, grass work in fact. But I might just do the other fields in my spare time. But, or just like a time lapse. Or we could do it live. Tempting, you know. But, hey ho, let's go. So we're going to go down here. that bit there but also this bit along here so then there we go oh no got that bit there and then nearly done oh my god He's a ghost tractor. And a brown tractor. So, yeah. That's completely dirty again. Isn't it? <laughs> it's a chocolate tractor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does look like chocolate on the tractor, doesn't it? Sort of. Uh, but. There you go. That's that field done. So, I'm just going to quickly say, just try to track it down. Just going like to say, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you did enjoy the video. Please do leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Please do consider subscribing if you are new here. And click on that bell to receive notifications, but also, to receive notifications, but also know when I'm going live on YouTube but okay yeah we're done so hopefully I will see you next time and until then it is goodbye